Hey guys, this is Redshift. Welcome back to my Sky Factory 3 series. We've got a beautiful day rising today, or beautiful sun rising today. Uh, so today I thought we'd uh, get through some of these achievements. The next couple are actually not quite, uh, not too difficult. So uh, let's go through them. So build a second layer to your island below the level where you started from. That should be pretty easy. Then make obsidian with a stone barrel should be quite easy. Make a tinker's construct smeltery for processing ore. I've prepared these uh, seared bricks which I'll need for that. Um, upgrade an existing tinker's tool with a metal part. That's easy once we've got the smeltery. Automate your cobble with a cobblestone generator. That's also quite easy. And then this one is maybe a little bit more difficult. So let's see how many of these we can do today. Pull the second layer to your island. So I've uh, used this cobble gen to get some cobble and I want to start building with stone rather than wood because we could have lightning storms and then this wood can all burn down. So I'm going to start building with, uh, with stone. So let's see. Uh, if we go down one, two, three, four, and then a floor. That should be... That should give us some headroom. Oh, no, let's not do that. Is that going to stay like that now? Yes. Unfortunately. <gasps> uh, that's the wrong spot. Let's just get out of order. Luckily, I was holding shift there. Well, I guess I would have been in order, so I would have been okay. Oh man, how do I get rid of this water now? I want the water to go down. Mm, I might have to block it off completely there anyway. Let's just, uh, we still got a, oh there's the wand. Let's go this way a little bit and this way a bit. This way a bit. So let me see what is our light situation. Okay, that's pretty good. So the water's coming down there. I want to see if I can change this into a solid stream, a single stream again. Do that. How do we get rid of that water? Flowing so weirdly. Oh well, that's fine. I uh, just want to round this out a bit. Okay, so we've got a second level below the level we started from. So I'll probably, uh, I could add a ladder or I could put down some stairs or something to make it easy to get up and down here. But for now that's done. So what I think I'll do is I'll put most of the automated stuff downstairs. Uh, and then all the stuff we need to interact with a lot will be upstairs. And then the automated stuff is kind of out of out of the way. Okay, so that's done. Make an uh, make obsidian with a stone barrel. So let's see barrel barrel stone barrel. So we need a slab and six stone. So we can put one two three there and one two three there. And we are running out of. Oh, I made too many. Mm. Can you craft that back into... I wonder if you 9 by 9 it. Maybe you can. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll use them eventually anyway. Ok, 
And oh, we need a stone slab. That's probably going to be another three of those. Put two there and one there. So we'll need one slab there. And then some stone. Okay, that gives us st stone barrel, and then to make obsidian, where shall we put this? We're going to need, uh, so you need a water source block above it. A water source block above the stone barrel. Where is our bucket? And then I should. I need lava. We need to put lava in there, but I don't want to lose this bucket. So maybe let's go skip it to the Tinker's Construct Smeltery for processing ore. So we're going to need a bunch of these seared bricks, and they are e quite easy to make. You just need grout which is gravel, sand and clay, that gives you 8 grout and then um, you smelt that and you get seared bricks okay so what I th where I think I'm going to put the smeltery is let's see if I put the... I want to make it 3x3 three three. so let's say like that and that will mean the other things are up here. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so for the base, uh, we're going to need a couple of these guys. Okay, so that's our base. Then, let's see, I want the, we're going to need a controller, and a controller, uh, where is smeltery controller, it's just like that, uh, okay, so that's that one. Let's put that, where am I going to do most of my casting? Let's put that there, and we're going to need a tank, sear tank, that's just glass in the middle, I've got a piece of glass here, yes, so one of those with some glass in the middle, that's a sear tank, then I'm going to need a drain, I'm going to make two drains, Let's make two of those, and I'm going to need two of these guys. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, we need a casting table and a casting basin. Okay, so the tank I'll put there. Let's just put a uh, border around building and my two drains I'm gonna have here and here put the faucets on them and then we'll have the table here and the basin here and I'm gonna need a normal block there guys it doesn't look right with these things hanging but maybe we'll make it look a bit nicer later I just want to get rid of that there was a 
potential spawning spot there. Okay, so we're gonna need just one more of these. Okay, so I made way too much. Let's see. Okay, so we've got a smeltery. Let's see, do I have enough to make another layer? Yes, <laughs> I just might as well. Might as well. Okay, great. So we've got that. Uh, let's check that off. For processing ore. Okay, so the nice thing about the Tinker Smeltery is you, it doubles your ore. So with these guys, if we smelted one of these, we would get one piece of iron. But in the Tinker Smeltery, we'll get two for each one we smelt. So that'll give us four. We need some lava in there. Should have some ready here. Got two buckets in there. Let's start some more cooking. Okay. So put the lava in there and then this should be going. So once we have this iron, that's gonna give us four. Well, let's make some more. We're gonna need the iron. Uh, then we'll make a bucket. Uh, let's just cook all of this. Why not? We will use it. Okay, we're gonna need a cast. So I think what I'll do is I'll get a basin first. Uh, I mean, get a, an iron block first from the basin and use an ingot to get a cast. And for the cast, I don't think we have, um, what is it called? Uh, what's the material? So you can make clay casts or yeah, gold. Those are the only two options in Sky Factory 3. So we're going to need gold to make casts. So we'll have to smelt some gold as well. Okay, we've got enough there. Let's smelt the gold and then we can make a cast. So that gave us four blocks. Uh, so that's 36 from, from uh, 18. Yeah, so it doubles it. Okay. How do we check that off? Okay, then we can, once we have the bucket. Okay, we're putting it there, and then with the gold, we can make a cost. And now we can cast iron ingots. Nice. Okay, so next let's make a bucket. A bucket, and then we can get obsidian. So just take some lava from here. Put that in. So this barrel has the water on top. If you put the lava inside, you get obsidian out. Awesome. Okay, so we've done that. Upgrade an existing tinker's tool with a metal part. Okay, so let's make one of these out of stone. Put that there and then make a gold cast for that. And then we can make an iron pickaxe edge. And then we should be able to upgrade this iron pickaxe. Okay, that's done. Uh, automate your cobble with cobblestone generator block. So, cobble gen. So this is not too difficult to make. Um, we just need some cobble, some glass, a lava bucket and a water bucket. So do we have any sand? I think we do. So let's just get some sand. That one went into lava. We've got 
Okay. Get some glass there. We're gonna need another bucket. I think we'll get these buckets back there. So we're gonna need one bucket of lava and one bucket of water. Let's put some more in here. And a bit of water. And then we need our glass. Okay, and then we should have the cauldron. That there and that there. That gives us a cobblestone generator. Okay. So I, I think I'm going to put it here so that I can put down a storage drawer. This will kind of be our storage area. So if we put it there, I can put a storage drawer in front of it. I wonder if there's a way to get cobble out of here. It doesn't have an inventory. Cobblestone. Oh, shift right click tells you how much is in there. But there's no way to get it out, I think, unless you break it. Yeah, I think then you get the cobble out of it. Okay, but let's put it there. Oh, we're going to need some kind of a pipe to get that out, though. Let's see. So. Okay, I don't want to take that off until we can actually get the cobble out of there. So let's start by making a chest. Mm, I mean a storage drawer so that we can store the cobble in there. Like that. And then we're going to need some kind of a I think we're a bit far away from item conduits, which is the ones I prefer to use. Now, for this, we need an ender pool, which we don't yet have. Our other option is transfer nodes. So we'll need that. So we need two pieces of glass and one redstone. Do we have any redstone? We do not. Uh huh. So to get redstone, we need an iron stiffened mesh. These are flint stiffened meshes. Okay. So four iron and some string. I think we've got all of those. So that gives us one of those. Uh, I think we can just shift right click there, put that one in there. Uh, what did we have to sift? S dust, okay. Diamond stuff and mesh gives us a bit more. Mm, should I do all of them? Let's see, maybe we get lucky. Okay, I'm just going to get some about a stack of dust here and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm just about done sifting this dust. It's quite tedious with only the one sieve, so if I need to do this again, which will probably be quite soon, I think I'm going to just make um, iron stiffened meshes for all of these. Okay, so we did get some redstone though, which is good. That's what we needed. So let's see, we need redstone, two glass, and some slabs. So we're going to need to make some more slabs. So let's cook up three of these. And I set two glass, right? Get those. Okay, so it was that, and then a piece of redstone, and then two glass. That gives us some uh, transfer pipes. And then we need a chest. Uh, we've got wood there. Let's 
chest. And that gives us four transfer nodes. Excellent. So now, we should be able to stick that on there with a transfer pipe. And we're getting cobble. Awesome. So now we have infinite cobble. That wasn't too difficult. Automate your cobble. Done. Upgrade your mob farm. Um, and enchant a seed mesh. Okay, so to upgrade the mob farm, um, there are a couple of things we can do. I think the cheapest is this mob masher from mob grinding utils. We do need diamond though, and lots of iron. So diamonds, I think we're, yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade this iron stiffened mesh. And then we will need to sift gravel to get diamond. So I think that's doable. So I think let's do that next episode. I'm probably going to tear that one down and build a darkened room. Maybe with some, I think we get uh, fans as well. Mob fan. Yeah, there we go. So we can use these guys to push the mobs into the grinder. That's also just some iron and redstone which we, which we can get now. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do next time. What's after that? Enchanted Seed Mesh. So we can get Obsidian from the Stone Barrel. Just with Lava. Let's make some more Lava. Uh, so we'll be able to do that. I wonder, it might be worth moving this to there to auto-generate that for us as well. Okay, so that might be an option as well. Okay, so next time, yeah, I think we'll focus on the mob farm, uh, enchant the seed match, and then we get to the farming age. Okay, but that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Take care. Bye.